गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन द फिफ्थ नंबर लेक्चर फ्रॉम द चैप्टर इन्हांसमेंट ऑफ द फूड प्रोडक्शन द टॉपिक इज एनिमल हजबेंड्री डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शहजा सर एंड दिस इज माई पटेल साइंस अकेडमी एज यू नो इन दिस अकेडमी देर आर डिफरेंट लेक्चर अवेलेबल फ्रॉम द बायोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टीच यू अबाउट पोल्ट्री फार्म मैनेजमेंट एंड दिस इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड फ्राम दिस चैप्टर एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर यू विल बी एबल टू नो अबाउट द पोल्ट्री फार्म इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट डिफरेंट स्टेप्स डेट हैज़ टू बी टेकन ड्यूरिंग दिस मैनेजमेंट एंड डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट एनिमल्स विच हैज़ बीन यूज इन इन दिस टेक्निक एंड देयर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड देयर डिजीजेस अलॉन्ग विद देयर फोटोग्राफ सो डी आर स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट द पोल्ट्री फार्म मैनेजमेंट पोल्ट्री फार्म मैनेजमेंट मीन्स इट्स अ ब्रांच ऑफ द एनिमल हजबेंड्री इन विच द नंबर ऑफ बर्ड्स स्पेशीज like the chickens number of bird species like the chickens ducks turkey fowls like birds uh, are domesticated for getting their eggs and for getting their meat and their feathers so this is simply poultry farm management in which birds are domesticated for their eggs and uh, meat so birds are uh, chickens ducks turkey and fowls these birds are domesticated in this technique so dear students uh, this is about the uh, uh, introduction of this poultry farm management uh, one more time uh, poultry is the domesticated bird kept by the human being kept by the human being uh, for what for their eggs for their meat for their feeders so these birds are mostly typical members of the sub order uh, gallinaceae and uh, especially the order galliformes so in this technique birds different birds like the chickens geese turkey fowls etc or ducks etc are domesticated for their eggs and mates so dear students poultry farm is the form of animal uh, husbandry it is the form of animal husbandry which raises the domesticated birds such as the chicken ducks turkey geese to produce the meat and eggs for the food poultry mostly chickens are farmed in the great numbers and farmers raise more than 50 billion chickens annually per year by this technique so this is about the introduction of this poultry farm technique uh, now we'll see these chickens ducks fowls and turkeys etc are domesticated for getting their eggs and meats and their feathers so i hope your students you have till now understood about this chicken ducks turkeys fowls geese etc that these type of birds are domesticated or reared or look after for their uh again meats and feathers so dear students which breeds are used in the poultry farm now we'll see in detail breeds in the poultry farm it includes the different types of the poultry breeds are uh american breeds asian breeds mediterranean neanderthal breeds english breeds and indian breeds these five types of the breeds all over the world uh, has been uh domesticated in this dairy in this poultry farm management so american breeds includes the plymouth rock breeds new hampshire breeds i'll show the photo of all these types of breeds rhode island red breeds so these three breeds uh play rock breeds new hampshire breeds rhode island island breed uh, red breeds uh, it uh, these breeds belong to the america while the another breeds uh, which belongs to asia includes the brahma breeds cochin breeds and the langshan breeds they are students these breeds belongs to asia thereafter there are some breeds which belongs to mediterranean breeds it includes the leghorn breeds and the menorca breeds while some belongs to the england that is english breed and these includes 
astral updates and some are indian breeds which are used in this poultry farm management and it includes the chittagong asil brahma and khadaknath these breeds are used in india for this poultry farm management so this is about these breeds now we'll see the american breeds so as i told you there are three breeds from the america this is the playmouth rock breeds you can see here this is american breed this is second number uh, breeds from the america that is called new hampshire breeds you can see here the color of the feathers thereafter one more breeds is there and it is called road island red breeds again from the america so from america these three breeds are uh, used in this poultry farm management that is uh, playmouth uh, rock breeds uh, new hampshire breeds and road island red breeds so this is about the american breeds now we'll see the asiatic breeds asiatic breeds includes the cochin chicken as i told you this is cochin uh, chicken the next one from the which belongs to asia is uh, langshan langshan breed and the another one which is from the uh, india it is uh, brahma breed you can see here these are the asiatic breeds now we'll see the mediterranean breeds this mediterranean breeds includes the most important breeds that is called leghorn and uh, minorca so leghorn and minorca it belongs to mediterranean breeds these are also used in the poultry farm management and there are some english breeds and these english breeds is, is, is as a astrolope is included in the poultry farm management you can see here the photo of this astrolope while some indian breeds are also there in the uh, poultry farm management and it includes uh, this asil breeds you can see here these asil breeds and uh, this kadaknath breeds very attractive in color i always found in a dark black in color kadaknath asil and this is chittagong breeds from india so this is about the breeds and their photo uh, dear students and egg laying poultry is always called agar or layer there are two terms one layer and another one broiler so what is the difference in between this layer and the broiler layer is the chicken which is always domesticated for their eggs only it is domestic domesticated for getting the eggs from them so these are called layers whereas the broiler are reared for obtaining their meat so if chicken is domesticated or reared for meat then it is called broiler and if chicken are domesticated or reared for the eggs then it is called layers so these are the two types of the chickens layers and broilers layers are for chicken for sorry egg and broilers are for their meat so a uh, layer should be able to produce the more number of the large size eggs without growing too much this is the speciality of the layers without growing too much they lays large size eggs on the other hand a broiler should yield more meat and hence that uh, should be able to grow as well so uh, broiler will give you maximum meat and layer will give you large size uh, more number of eggs so these are the two terms which is used in this technique so you can see here these <coughs> you can see here broiler and layers so i hope you have understood about the broiler broil broiler is only for meat and layers is only for eggs so this is about the two terms that is used in this poultry farm management now we'll see which layers are the best layers amongst all examples i have explained the best layers for the eggs it is always leghorn as i told you and 
as you know this uh, as you know this is the photo of the lagoon and it always belongs to the mediterranean breeds so you can see here this lagoon chicken and it is always considered as a base layer while which one is a best broiler base broiler broiler is always for uh, domesticated for their meat so dear students base broilers are uh, plymouth rock plymouth rock which is american breed as i told you second one is uh, rhode island red again from the america it is considered as a base broiler third one is a seal coming from india fourth one is brahma again from india and the sixth one is kadaknath again from the india so these are the five uh, best broiler breeds two from america and three from india that is plymouth rock rhode island red a seal brahma and kadaknath all these are the best broiler chickens now we'll see about some poultry diseases so dear students before we go in the depth of the poultry diseases uh, i'd like to explain here regarding the management of the layers and management of the broilers so what to need and what to require for for the management of the layers management of the la layers it requires the purchase of the high yielding chickens chicken should be always high yielding well ventilated farm should be there for them proper feed debeaking uh lighting uh, lightning water sanitization uh, sanitation culling and vaccination all these aspects should be always perfect for their uh, management the management of the broilers what requirements are there for the management of the broilers it includes the selection of the breeds should be always right housing there should be a perfect housing place temperature of that house ventilation in that house lightning in the house floor space and the broiler feed always uh, should be taken uh, care and should be keep in mind while management uh, management of the broiler uh, you are maintaining there so there are different types of diseases uh, uh, these diseases may cause by the virus may cause by the bacteria may cause by the fungus parasites and protozoa so these different diseases includes the viral disease bacterial disease fungal disease parasitic disease and the protozoal disease so now we'll see one by one all that disease so viral disease includes these are the viral disease and it includes the rani khet bronchitis avian influenza that is bird flu and about this bird flu you will be uh, you you will remember a uh, few years back bird flu have seriously influenced the poultry farming and the human infection too so this is viral disease uh, rani khet bronchitis and bird flu that is avian influenza so this is about this a uh, viral disease now we'll see the bacterial disease to the chicken the bacterial disease that may cause the different types of diseases uh, includes the pylorum chlorella typhoid tb tuberculosis and crd that is chronic respiratory disease and enteritis all these are the bacterial disease and uh, one should care for these all types of diseases while you are managing the poultry farm thereafter comes the fungal disease fungal disease are the uh, asparagilosis and the favias and thrush while the parasitic disease which is caused by the parasites it includes the lice infection round worm sickle worm infection etc and the protozoal disease that caused by by the protozoa it includes the it includes the coccidiosis disease so dear students this is about the diseases that is caused by the different organisms and uh, this is about this this is about this uh, chapter uh, this is about this topic poultry farm management so dear students in this lecture we have learnt about the poultry farm about its introduction about the uh, uh, different steps uh, that should be uh, 
perfect during this um, if you are uh, rearing or domesticating this type of breed so uh, poultry farm is the technique of uh, rearing or domesticating the chickens ducks turkey fowls geese etc and uh, uh, there are uh, different types of uh, uh, breeds that are uh, uh, domesticated from the different area like american breeds uh, plymouth rock new hampshire rhode island red asiatic breeds of brahma cochin lection uh, langshan and mediterranean breeds includes the leghorn and the menorca and english breed includes the astrolop and indian breeds chittagong and asil brahma and kalaknath so dear students uh, uh, we have all, also learned about the uh, two types of the chicken that is the layers and the broilers layers are the uh, chickens which are domesticated or reared for their eggs only and base layer is as you know uh, legon is the base layer from the mediterranean breeds and uh, broiler broiler uh, bro